Uh, he usually can get out of the pin, but he doesn't respect the kick because he just forgets about the kick, and that's what kills him most of the time. That's camper. That's place. Yeah, which is what what I saw. Which is interesting. I think he's one of the few Ninja players here. I I like Ninja. Yeah, he's not terrible. No, he's good. Um, do you guys know the stages? You guys know the stages. You good? Okay. Battlefield. Sweet. Mutt definitely has the advantage. Yep. Yep. So, I don't know, like I said, it's, it's very hard to judge players. Yeah, it seems not. Mm-hmm. Sort of a thing for it. It's sort of advice if you want to try to judge some You kind of just have to, like, wait it out a little bit. Like, you know, sort of feel how they're playing, and then you can sort of go in and do whatever. Oh. That's how I think. Oh, Campbell just got back on there. That was close. That's a problem with Greninja, honestly, is that his recovery is so spotty sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's like how it is with a lot of the teleporting in this game. And it's, it's, it's Zelda too. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda's a huge defender. Still like 30 miles. <laughs> but uh, that's 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 the only thing that prevents me. I think with this matchup, place definitely has the advantage, and I think Battlefield actually benefits more. Yeah, absolutely. Like. I don't know. He's place is definitely doing well with his placement right now. They're, they're definitely missing a bunch of hits. Uh, both of them are guilty of it. But place is actually looking better because I was saying earlier he's not the best with shielding, and that's something he needs to work on. But he's doing it well right now. He's doing it very well, which is pretty difficult because honestly, Greninja is either a pretty zoning character or just uh, mm -hmm. never really. There's never a wrong way to play character. There's definitely some red button. He's definitely going right in. He's not taking advantage of the range too much of Greninja. I see he's got to poke with the Watcher. So there's uncharged marks and then the Thorn Emperor. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be trying to play this. Oh, that's going to take it. But I wouldn't be trying to play the space game. I mean, the part that I'm going to do it. Where the Greninja is pretty good, of course. I mean, his run-up grab is... Uh, is jump towards neutral. Yes. He he's taking advantage of the water shuriken. I will say that he's using that quite a lot right now. And I also haven't seen uh, plays pull out the counter at all yet because there's not. Oh, speaking of which, it's a little difficult. I think in this situation, you don't know the matchup very well. I don't think you should try. Most are going for a hard three. This case, good for you. In a tournament setting, trying to gun for a win. Oh, what was that? Up tilt? Up tilt, sir. Oh, oh, missed with that by place. A nice kill by Camper there. Shadow Sneak is a very nice kill. Oh, with the up smash taking it. So, plays against first round. Do you think that? So, what adjustments do you think Camper needs to make right now? Against Camper, against Place? Yes. Uh, well, I think honestly, he just needs to go honestly, like either run and grab or jump. Honestly, that's how you start everything. He's literally got a thing. Yeah, we're gonna say switch to Little Mac. Oh. Itchy boy? Itchy boy! Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting. This is the common thing because if he's playing for Ninja and he's playing sort of like campy kind of way, I don't know if he knows how to actually go with that. Just because, I mean, you're going to find a destination. That's just my opinion. Yeah. I think this benefits Marth still in this matchup, especially because now he has all the time, all the opportunities in the world to use this counter to his advantage. Because Little Mac has absolutely no range game. Like he has no op, he, he legit has no range game whatsoever, and it's all up close. Well, then, you know, if you're good with holding with the smash packs, and if you're expecting a counter, you can hold the smash packs. Mm -hmm. If camper, if not camper, if place can keep him up in the air, 
and just off the ground. He, this is, oh, oh, nice, nice side B. Again, with... Yeah. Oh, Kampa real. Oh, Kampa lost the KO punch now, too. No. He has to be on the attack. Oh, he's really liking the side special. And that's gonna take it. That's gonna take the stop. There was nothing he could do there. No, she plays really uh, using this uh, neutral special to his advantage. It's such a good move. It's such a good move. <laughs> oh, 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 both missed. <laughs> he had every opportunity. If he if he waited, he could have gotten that ending lag, which yeah. would have basically be, been a confirm. Yeah. Because they both time to tr time each other there. Oh oh, this is not looking good for Camper right now. He's got the KO punch though. Oh, missed with the KO punch. This is all. And. So far, no. And. Super See, what he did there is not something I recommend. When Marth had his up throw, he, uh, Camper immediately went with the side special. And there's just so much, like, he couldn't do anything after that. He's just there in the air, and it plays at, oh, and that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. But good 2 0 there by Place. Well deserved. And don't take anything away from Camper though, because Camper, Camper did well. There are things he still needs to work on, but he definitely put up a good fight.